Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark, yeah, back. where we do special shows, where we play extended version of games, or we play things that aren't even homebrew. Uh, today we're going to be celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Atari 7800. Happy birthday! <laughs> Woo! Happy birthday, to Atari 7800! To the uh, halted release mm. of the 7800 in 1984, when it should have been released, but it was not released in 1984. Yep. And Atari 7800, how are your joints feeling right now? Cause creaky. Creaky. A little 40 creaky. 40-year-old creaky yep. game system. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what the, what the games yep. were like yep. for the 7800 upon <laughs> release. Uh, postponed two years after. Um, I have a bunch of sealed Atari 7800 games here. We won't be opening these. Um, but we will be playing them, and we'll be playing them in order of release. Uh, we're going to be using the 1986 release dates. Okay. Um, of those games? Of those games. Uh, those are all sealed? Yeah, they are all sealed. How did you get those? Some with hang tags. Wow. Uh, just collections. Fancy. Yes, very fancy. Good job. <laughs> Some of them even have hang tags. Wow, still. look at that. You could put them Worth on a... absolutely nothing. Really? Uh, no, they're worth very little. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to be playing Asteroids, Centipede, Food Fight, Morbitron, 2084, Dig Dug, Joust, Amp, Miss Pac Man, Pole Position 2, Galaga, Xevious, Choplifter, 101 Basketball, Karateka, Ball Blazer, Desert Falcon, Summer Games, Winter Games, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., and Hat Trick. Mm. First 20 games. Then the next one will be 20. The next one will be 19. They released 59 games retail right, during right, its right. run. That is going to be a lot of games, but we're going to just touch on each of them, right? Five minutes. I've five decided minutes. on. Okay. I think five minutes. That sounds will, reasonable. We, we, I a couple think hours will get through it all. Yeah. Everybody watching is quite familiar with at least yeah. 99% of the games yes, we're going to be playing. So. Yes, I think so. Yes, yes. Um, so it's not like we, and I'm very familiar with most of them. That's good. <laughs> so we'll we'll be doing them going through them fast and okay. furious. Okay, um, fair enough. But before we get into that, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers for helping support the cats and the show. Hey Atari, oh he's sleeping off the catnap from oh. from the from the regular show. Oh, from the from the um, catnap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can go back to sleep. It's okay. Uh, Ape Poe down the fur Andrew, Atari Arbscore Coder in 1974, Atari 1974, Atari HBR Poker, Bruno Stacks, Captain Class, Charles Tony Mount, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Cubanismo, Danny Vicidera, uh, Dave M A Z, who won the coaster last show. Yay. Dr. Mook has Gamma Dev, Great Defender, H O G 2309, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny W C, Computer Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Tro Crocker, Twenty Foot Scunner, Defelt Fur, Lambda Ex Express. Mandy Sipping Team, Mark Annis, Mark Smith, Mace Inc., Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Solomon, Catal, Miss Nomer, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Neo Mini, Nostalgic Hog, Rinder, Ghost, Friendless, VG, Revan, Tulip, Ricardo, Pam, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Spinley, Esmeris, Tiki Dan, K, Trek, MD, Tweeny, Vexor, X, Vintage Game, Memories, Vic Coat, Fotoko, 8 Base, VG, Double Down, X, Ken, X. I need to put these names actually in the scroll. Oh, they're not all in the scroll? No. Oh, no. Um, Get them in the scroll. Yeah, so we don't, don't want to miss them out in the no. scroll. No. Here I did go. resubscribe too. If it didn't worked, trigger I'm not yet, sure. nah. No, mm -hmm. not yet. Maybe I have to log it's, back it's in. It's a little weird. It's a little it weird. It is a little weird. Um, I do have a poll question for those of you who are watching. Uh, when did you get? Oh, I didn't have a. Just don't answer if you don't have a twenty a seventy eight hundred. Um, when did you get a seventy eight hundred? Uh, nineteen eighty four to nineteen eighty five during the test market release. That's unlikely. Um, number two, uh, 1986 to 1992, the retail life of the 7800. Uh, 1993 to 2004, pre-homebrew, before any homebrew. That was between the retail and homebrew era. It was a no man's land. Um, 2005 to 2013 is option four during, during early homebrew. And then option five, uh, during the renaissance of the 7800 that we're living in right now, mm -hmm. during 7800 basic homebrew era, 2014 to 2024, last 10 years. It works! <gasps> Thank you for resubscribing, yeah, sick, sweet. Cats. 
Now, Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> I got mine definitely during pre-homebrew, my first one. Gotcha. Um, did I play it? No. I was totally infatuated with the 2600 at that point. Mm. But I had one because I was just collecting systems and cartridges wherever I could get them because they were just dirt cheap yeah. during yeah. that time. Yeah. Nobody cared about them. Oh, the they poor were just Ataris. shoveling them out the house. <laughs> It's like throwing them out onto the street. We, it's like we either sell it or it's going in the garbage. Aww. It was at flea markets for nothing. Games were 50 cents. Wow. Systems were five, ten dollars. It was so good. I like Smitty B. I don't remember buying it. <laughs> it just appeared. I don't physically remember buying it either. I just like, oh, it's an Atari. I'll buy it. Yeah. Uh, I was barely aware it existed. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. It was 2600 to NES. I, but I knew, yeah. I knew ColecoVision. I knew Intellivision. Friends had that. Um, 7800? No idea. Never heard of it. Maybe I saw it like on the back of comic books or in comic books, like ads for it, but I didn't really care or pay attention. It was out during the run of NES, and NES just dominated. Mm. Just nobody cared about anything but NES during that. That's what I played in that era. So. There, were, there were some Sega Master System fans. Yep, yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. No, there definitely were fans around, but yep. I I, that one, was what one, I had. I knew so. one person who had a Sega Master System, yeah. but pff, NES just yeah, when ruled we, the landscape, that's for sure. When we got our NES, the Christmas we got it, I think it was like 87. Yeah. We stopped talking to my grandmother and she got so upset. <laughs> what? She left what? early because she usually stayed with Damn us. Damn kids. I know because we didn't want to do anything but play the video game. And she was very, very upset at us. And I will remember oh, it to this day. No. She went home early from her, va like, oh, her vacation. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never forget that. Uh, but it was a Christmas. It was a Christmas present. So. Anyway, uh, sorry. No. We're talking about the 7800, but yeah, no, I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized by that. <laughs> Poor nanny. Yeah. Okay, so uh, just diving a little bit into the history of the 7800 here. This is on the Atari Age site. Mm. The Atari 7800 is Atari's most overlooked and underappreciated console. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -hmm. The console was announced on May 21st, 1984, and was to carry a price tag of $140. Yeah, what? Hmm? You're going to say something? No, no, okay. just it, obviously it didn't release really in 84 and it came no. to most people much later. And yeah. I'm guessing that was the reason why it, well, we it get into the reason with a whimper in right? a second. Yeah. yeah uh, the new bad. custom CPU would power the system capable of moving a hundred objects on screen at the same time as displaying a 256 color palette. Very powerful system rivaling the NES came out was supposed to come out well before the NES. System will also be 100% compatible with the huge existing 2600 library. There are a few outliers. It, mm -hmm. it was not compatible with like a very small handful. Uh, 12 7800 titles were announced for launch as, as well as a special high score cartridge if somebody replicated later on that would allow console gamers to save their high scores for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. It's before NES had on onboard um, memory uh, not memory battery for game saving uh, the public was excited and the 7800 was poised to take over the gaming world uh in july 1984 uh home now where is the pertinent information here one second oh yeah that is the right screen july 1984 the home Video game division of Atari was purchased by Jack Trammell. Although the Atari 7800 had been released in limited numbers in test markets of New York and California. There it is. Mm -hmm. It was released in 1984. The Trammells quickly pulled the plug <laughs> on the 7800, halting sales. Because mm -hmm. when I first announced I was doing that this year, like yeah. a couple years ago, they're like, nah, it was, didn't come out in 84. It came out in 86. It did. It did. Just not everywhere. <laughs> uh, and I'll add more proof in a second. Uh, mm. Licensing negotiations had to begin again because the Tremels did not agree with some of the existing arrangements negotiated by, negotiated by Ray So Kazar. it was all contract arrangements, basically. Uh, and it was and around the time that the video game market crashed. Yeah, there you go. Retailers cut orders for video games across the board. By the end of 1984, the industry was only left with the Atari, Coleco, Mattel, and television, uh, turning out new products for their own systems and no new console on the horizon. Atari spent the next two years working out the details and the 7800 is finally ready to go in 1986. If you look at graphs from that era, 
of home console sales and home console video game sales, it went from huge to zero, zero. like yeah. zero. Um, toy stores did not want to touch video games mm. because people were, were returning games more than they were buying games and they were taking a bath. Ugh. It was terrible. Um, 7800 would have likely had better route if it wasn't for delays and bad timing. Bad timing um, uh, for the crash. It would have done just bonkers. Yeah. Bonkers in 1984 if it wasn't the crash. If And also if they put in the pokey chip too. Oh my god. It would have had a run that would have rivaled the, um, uh, NES? the, the 2600. Oh, and I the see. NES yeah. too. Yeah. Um, because if it had like the support and sales, people would have been able to program better and better games. Like, look at the games that are coming out now. Mm -hmm. Um, just absolutely astounding. Yeah. Um, so the next thing I want to show you is the actual boxes. Oh, very different. From 1984 that people purchased in 1984. Mm -hmm. Um, this is from a YouTube channel, The No Swear Gamer, fairly well known. And if you look this on the right hand side, does it remind you of like Vectrex a little bit? Well, a little bit, but also you can and see. And oops, we don't need to narrate. it. Um, you can see the the style of it looks much more updated from the one on the right looks much more updated. The one on the right looks updated. This is the later release. Actually. Really? Yeah. To me, the this one on the, the right original. looks more modern. In I a know. Way. I don't know why they they went why away from that. Why would they flip? They it probably around? thought like, oh, this is early '80s or something. But, I don't know. But I it love was almost like nostalgia. Almost. I think that I like yeah. the one on the right way more. Yeah, it's it's. I like that stripe. I love the lines in the background. It's very much like a Vectrex cartridge. Vectrex, but I also like the fonts. The fonts look yeah. more modern. And it's almost like they went backwards a bit to make them look... shadowing? Like the drop shadow? Older somehow. I don't know. Like maybe it's our um, sensibilities now. Maybe. You can see on the side, um, it looks very, very different. That's the well, original I think release. The fonts look nicer too. Like yep, that's on the so 84. plain. That looks there. lovely. Yeah. Um, and it says Atari 78 Pro System. And it's got the number yeah. release. It's really, really nice. Hmm, Here's the back interesting. of Interesting. Probably to align the box designs between different Atari systems. Quite possibly, but yeah, yeah I, I like the older one better. Um, so this this is the original. Look at the g huge graphics yeah. there. Um, yep, yeah, see 1984. So you think they cheaped out on the printing? I don't know. They just changed changed it. Hmm. I don't know. Um, and then uh, there's original manuals from then as well. Pen hammer. Oh. How do we do this again? Right click. Over his name. Nope, nope. Just hover over it or click on it. Left click. And the line through the circle on the left bottom. There you go. Thank you. Um, and uh, this pay, this uh, website uh, or channel goes into details about the differences in the manuals as well mm. between the different uh, different um, releases. Um, I, this is the later release of Pole Position Two. Um, not sure. One of those other ones are is the early release of Pole Position. So they changed everything. They. Uh, about the look of it. So I thought that was an interesting uh, look at actual releases from 1984. Um, and I've got some pictures of things from 1984 as well. Here's the press kit release. May 21st, 1984, on a typewriter. Atari Inc. today unveiled 7800 Pro System, a powerful video game console that boasts the most advanced color graphics of any home computer or video game currently available. The versatile Pro System, which plays a new line of software as well as all game cartridges designed for the Atari 2600, can be expanded into an introductory computer with the addition of the optional full stroke keyboard. Never released. Um, uh, 
maximize extraordinary graphics capabilities made possible by a custom semiconductor chip named Maria. Atari introduced 13 specialty design games for the 7800 Pro system. Goes on and on, mm -hmm. um, outlining all the coolness that's happening with it. Some things that they list never came out. Um, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, some prototypes of them were never found. A lot of them mm. were found. Um, there's a press kit picture Look of it. Look at that. CRT TV. Yep. Everyone. Very advanced for its era. Oh, there's some people. The mother enjoying while well, just holding the joystick but not playing. Because it is a one-player game. It's good <laughs> they didn't go, oh, both of you play. It's like, no. So you see that. Oh, there's the keyboard for the 7800. Probably not working. <laughs> uh, and some sort of input box, design? input device? device. Yeah, let's see. Interesting. Introductory computer is expandable to 20K of RAM. Ooh, 20 That's pretty good for a home console, actually. Um, for 1984. Yeah, that's not bad, actually, for 1984. 20K. Hmm. Um, like the Commodore 64 just came out around that era and it had 64 and it was pretty, pretty decent. Um, here's the 1984 software list, uh, which will be playing, um, all these games today, I believe. So there are a lot of old information here about, um, games. Um, okay. Okay. What do I have next on the agenda? Uh, Games! Let's see. Most people got it in the retail release. Uh, 33%. Wow. That's that's awesome. Yeah, cool. Uh, oh, no. Most people got it uh, during this era of basic homebrew. Of, of getting basic. a new, yeah. 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 I can so see that. So a lot of people got interested after uh, seeing all the awesome homebrew, I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's cool. Um, so just a little bit of trivia. Um... 3.77 million units sold, uh, which puts it below the N-Gage handheld, <laughs> of which not many people have. Mm. Um, and until 2001, nobody could make a game for it because the, a digital signature prevented aftermarket games from being developed. Wow. So it was kind of locked down. Mm. The signing software eventually found and released at Classic Gaming Expo ah, in 2001. Interesting. Yeah. So it was so locked down people, like the Nintendo. It had a lockout chip. People could really develop easily until no. 2001. It had to have all the uh, proper mm. proper things. Um, yeah, the proper code to do it. Okay. So let's get set up. Um, so there were two joysticks released for the system. Uh, the Pro Line controller mm. which had two buttons and um i don't i don't mind the feel of it it had a good joystick it had good buttons but it was just too it wasn't ergonomic and you got pain in your hand very quickly mm. that's why it was nicknamed the pain line the pain line from the pro line and the europeans got an nes style controller which is cool yes and it had a little uh thumb stick that you could twist off and turn it into a D-pad. Oh, nice. That's nice. So they kind of made a D-pad, but they went, oh, it's not a D-pad. It's a thumbstick. Um, hmm. Otherwise, they'd probably get sued by Nintendo. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so there you go. So it was a removable, yep. One joystick, one cross pad, and it had the two buttons there. So nice. a lot of people like this because it's a D-pad and they're used yeah. to it. But I like arcade controllers, so we're going to use the Bratwursts. Excellent. Bring on the Brats. And uh, here is my boxed 7800 Ooh, system. Okay. Not from nice 1984. Box. No. Or else I'd be rich. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'd sell it. No, I'd Tendinitis it. joystick, yes. Yep. Um, there's the back of it. And uh, it says $79.99 from nowhere. I don't know. Child Child World. Ch Children's Palace? Never heard of it. I don't think it's a... Um... Child World Children's Palace. Must must have been like a... Must be U.S. Clothing and uh, toy store, I'm guessing? So it has free Pole Position 2 game cartridge inside. Oh, very nice. And it has on uh, ripped off little thing there. It says 
it includes some. This is somebody reselling it. Mm. It includes 7,800 tapes. You know those tapes? <laughs> tapes? Yeah, so funny. Well, it has the cover on for it, too. Yep, and it has a classic era cover. Very nice. For it. Very nice. Ah, smells like a secondhand store. Oh, ugh. I love that smell. Smells of collecting. <laughs> Of collecting. Oh, yeah. Moth oh, Children's balls. Palace was like Toys R Us in the oh, US. Oh, okay, there you go. A track. Yeah. Yes. Mothballs and mold. Uh, plays all 2600 games, real dual button joystick controls, library of 7800 games, and exclusive super games. There we go. Arcade quality graphics, fun for the whole family. <laughs> eh, 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 arcade. It, mm, close. Yeah, cat pee pee. Yeah, <laughs> that's also what they sometimes cat smell pee -pee. like. Cat pee pee. Their mascot was a panda. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I've got a bunch of games here. Very nice. Um, which we are not cracking the plastic. Not on. cracking open, and ones that I don't have. These are all the games we're going to be playing today, and ones I don't have boxes of, I have cartridges of, and I think I'm just missing nice. two. Very nice. Two games, because I'm just haven't bothered. Oh because I have no more room <laughs> for games. All so right. let's get to it. We're going to be uh, setting a five minute limit on each game. And Danny will be playing most of them. Why, wait, wait, wait. Why is that so sharp? Uh, it's caught. Under. Oh my God, why is it like wrapped way around there? I don't know, I didn't do it. I blame the cat. You tell me what I'm pulling up first. Okay, we are going to be playing. I have a printout, and it's not in this room for some reason. That is very odd. This is where the printer is. <laughs> That's because I was getting all those game cases out of storage. Okay, first Ooh. game. Um, uh, mm. It says. I, it was very hard to find release dates for the 7800. It do, was do what you can, right? Even though it was released later than the 2600, so much more research has gone into 2600 release dates. Yeah. Down to like exact dates. These are going to be inaccurate. These are going to be very general. Uh, maybe just two minutes for a Karatika. I liked it on the C64. Um, it is a very slow game. Um, so May 1986 was kind of the start of the release of games uh, when it went full retail. This is a little launch title. It is Asteroids, Excellent. developed by General Computer Corporation. Very nice. Publisher by Atari. May 1986. So if you can load up Asteroids. Mm -hmm. uh, let me switch over and let's start the clock as soon as it goes. There we go. Very nice. Oh, and of course. Is it starting? Oh, yeah. Fubard, Fubard. I will correct the clock here. This person is yeah, so. No! Oh, the clock? Oh, just the recognition of what the clock is. I know the problem. So most games for the 7800 were released in North in NTSC and PAL. So PAL uh, people got almost every single game, and they actually got some games that we didn't get in North America. So very nice graphics. Oh, oh I didn't even see that. <laughs> Remember, there's warp. I think oh, what you is the warp? Down for shields or warp? No. No. Well, I'll try the other button. Oh. Oh, you. Game at over. The edge of the screen. Your turn. No. Sure. Three minutes left. Oh, you got high score. Good job. <laughs> I got the only score. Hence the high score. The it's very nice button. looking. Other button does go. Puts me <laughs> in danger. Work. 
Yeah, that's the danger of doing uh, hyperspace because it protects you, but also puts you in massive danger. Gamadel says, didn't help that most Atari records ended up in a dumpster. Luckily, some fans were frequently dumpster diving at Atari at night. Yes, yes, they were. Um, I, f I have some notes, or I did read about um, a lot of source code was retrieved from a dumpster. Really? Of, oh my god, I should move around. Yeah, you need to move. <laughs> and so they found uh, com not commented source code, but um, uncompiled source code. Uh, printed out, I think it was, along with a bunch of other uh, documentation. That's crazy. Yeah, it's just companies don't care. They're like, well, we sold it, done, it's over. You know, we paid people to do this, we're not releasing it now, we don't care, it's gone. And then by the time enthusiasts get to it, yeah. most of it's gone, yeah. or destroyed, or just um, in somebody's, just locked away, and then they just throw it in the dump, and, and it's really sad. Because before that, nobody has a possibility to have access to getting this documentation because it's, it's sitting in a file cabinet at the corporation. And then not till years later. Yeah, it's 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 quite. Let's see if I can. Test if only Atari Tremio had kicked out on the sound. GCC planned yes. a Gumby chip. Interesting. Yeah, the sound. Oh, why'd they use the TIA? I mean, it, the TIA works a little bit better in the 7800 because they're able to use, utilize it a bit better because it, I don't know the technical it, but either runs at a higher clock speed or it doesn't need to access it all the time. If there's any devs, can explain why the TIA is able to be better used. I know in the 2600, you have to constantly update the TIA during Oops. while the game is being run. One minute! One minute left! That's so what I usually do with asteroids. I just sit there because once I yeah, start moving... Then, well, you move a little bit to get out of the way of things. You just don't want to accelerate too fast because it no, always or gets go to the edge. in the end. Enough time for... Sure. So I don't think I ever played Asteroids in the arcade. Um, because by the time I got to playing it, it was already past. <laughs> yeah. Right? It wasn't... I, I didn't get to play arcades that early. Um, I would have been seven when it came out. I don't think my parents took me to arcades, but art... Arcade machines were everywhere, you know, like, you go roller skating, and there's an arcade. Mm -hmm. So I do have the arcade dates for these games. So it's time to switch over to the next one! So this came out in 19... Asteroids came out in 1979. Mm. So by the time this hit the shelves, it, it was... was seven years old. Yeah. And... I, and and people have said, imagine if a game that came out on another system came out on another system seven years later. Nobody would, no one would, would laugh. Care. No one would Centipede. care. Centipede. Yeah, no one would care about it. It'd be like, eh. So this one came out in the arcades in 1981. So five years later, it's out on the 7800. And that was another problem of the 7800. Um, was that... It had really old arcade games on its for its launch title, which people had played in the arcade. They played on the 2600. They played on their computer systems. They had played on a ton of. You can go up and down. I always forget about that. <laughs> um, they played on various systems, right? Yeah. So they they played this to death. Why would they want another version of Centipede? That's like mm, a little bit better, maybe, than yeah. other ones they've played. It's the same centipede. Yeah. Uh, Gowdev says, yet people keep rebuying GTA Witcher Last of Us. And eh, nah. that's true. Remastered, remastered, remastered versions of it. But the, I, I mean. So this was also made um, 1986. Kind of. Yeah. 
what I think is interesting about those games that are popular that they keep remastering for new consoles and new systems is there are there is an audience on that system who hasn't played it on the old system and they are quite expansive really? worlds they're huge they're huge and I think that keeps people interested in trying them out right so um, but yeah it's true some games uh, do span the test of time yeah Pac-Man, I feel, uh, it never gets old. I, I've but always gotta, liked Pac-Man. But uh, with the new Pac-Mans, they, they do update them. They add new games. They, they do, and, they do. Yeah, that's I true. I mean, it's still the same Pac-Man. We didn't know it, but... Come on, why am I being so bad? Come on, die. Just putting out new segments every time one reaches the bottom. No! That's one this is game sounds are out of sync. Oh, uh, they uh, rebuy because they want to play on hard way they now have, but they don't buy new systems for those old games, I don't think. Let me fix. Yeah, they wouldn't buy a new system for an old game. Let me fix the game sounds. Oh, VVG, Centipede without true track ball control isn't worth playing. Uh, yeah. Everything should be in sync now. Yeah, you really do want to use the proper controllers. And you have a trackball by this time. I'm not sure when track that proper trackball came out. And why wouldn't they use the trackball? Probably because this was programmed two years prior when the trackball wasn't around. You're welcome, Batoko. Like, if they updated this game for simultaneous two players or something. Yeah. Like, added some features to it. Then people go, oh, that's cool. I remember playing this game in the arcade five years ago. Now I can play with my friend. It's like... And that's what homebrewers are doing when yeah. they port games. People don't complain about the um, arcade ports coming to the 2600 and 7800 because they're, like, really, really, really good and they add a bunch of features. Um like variations uh, that were in the arcade. Whoa. It's another game I did not play. Yeah. Ah! There you go. Got a whole bunch of them. Ah, oh. right into him. <laughs> Done. That's centipede. Next. Next is Food Fight. Ooh, play which a lot of people like. Um, I will play it. Also May 1986. Uh, oh, we can play two player. There you go. Oh. So I'll show you how to play. Okay. Food? Who am I? You're nobody. Oh. It's two player alternating. Or alternating. Uh... Get the food! You throw it at them. There's different types of food. These are pies. Those are peas. But really, you gotta get to the ice cream cone before it melts. It goes, nom. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I had that completely folds back. That is so funny. Uh, piece of trivia, this is the first game in the arcade that had instant replay. Really? It would memorize what you did, and then it would play it back to you. Oh, stream restarted, but didn't load up on my computer. I was sitting here waiting till just now. Oh, no! Oh, no! Sorry. Let's so pick up bananas. Oh, I missed the bananas. Uh -oh. Okay, got to get to that ice cream before it melts. I'm playing beginner's mode, so they're not sh firing anything at me. Do they usually? But in, um... Oh, my God. I, oh, boy. 
Oh, I fell down a hole. No! Let's press one. Eat the cone, player two. You can't move just yet. There you go. Avoid the guys, pick up the things, throw it at them. Tomatoes! Splat! Food Fight is really one of the best of the lot. Yeah, it's a good... Yum. Very good conversion. I haven't played it on in the arcade, but it's uh, from what I've seen. Ooh, good one. Oh, banana! Don't lounge around, get to the cone. It's got great characters. Very big sprite. Very creepy. Lots yeah. of action going Home on. Eating scene in there. Very Robotronish, if I must say. Ah! Carl just says nothing flashy but solid and very replayable because of the randomness. Yep. Yes. Oh boy. All the foods on that. You know what? The, just the concept of throwing food is that, fun. That as well. Oh, oh, do I need to just get one? Nice. Let's get some bonus. Uh oh. And they come out of the holes, so you kind of have to avoid the holes. Ooh, I think I better go down. No. Uh, uh. Oh, we fell down the hole, too. Oh. It's not 3D. It is flat. Everybody's flat characters. I was thinking, can I get around him? No. He touches one pixel of me, even if it's his foot to my head somehow. <laughs> that's no! Vi but that's video game logic. Ooh, close one, but you got him. For years, I mixed this up with another game, arcade game Splat. I don't know Splat. So this came out in the arcades in 1983, so still a three-year gap on this one between the arcade and the home system, which isn't too bad. It depends on if it came out on any other home systems, right? Like if, some, like if it never came out on... Uh, a computer system, which seems not possible. Get it, get it, get it! Yay! No! There's a little bit of weirdness up in the top left. Oh yeah, there is. But you're not, you wouldn't see that on a CRT, that's the thing. So the key is to always have something in your hand. Okay. So you can, yeah. 7800 exclusive! Oh, see? I haven't seen this game on other... Platforms. Was it an arcade game at all? Yeah, it was. Yeah, 1983 arcade game. Oh. So if it's an exclusive, that is a reason. It's like mm. you cannot play this game unless you have a 7800. Mm. So it's like that's that's a good reason to port something and maybe has never been ported before. Oh, you can get them while they're coming out. Mm. This is a really fun game, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's also well suited for the platform with all the sprites. Yeah. So many holes, the food's awkwardly placed. Oh, I have to go around here, it's gonna be dangerous. Get some food there. Oh, you can get them all coming out. Yeah, you can. Reminds me of an open world burger time almost. Yes, yes. Because of the food and the chefs. Okay. Love how the chefs all have different hands. I'm just gonna finish this. Okay. It's a fun game. Very, very good game. Cool. I'll give it a thumbs up on that one. Yeah. For uniqueness. It's a very unusual game. Next game is Robotron 2084. And if I remember correctly, it is a decent version, but not as good as the 2600 champ games. Is that you? Oh, yeah. Maybe one? Yeah. Oh. Put that away. So this is also a May 1986, um, and it uh, only came out in North America. No pal for you. But it is, it's a decent version of it. I'll give it that. So this came out in the arcade in 1982, there, so there's a four-year gap. One of the best original games. I'm guessing you're talking about food fighting. Actually, I should be showing you. So here's the asteroids cover. Oh. Centipede box. Food fight cartridge. A 
very black and silver <laughs> Robotron 2084 cartridge. Not color at all. Yeah, we're NTSC in Canada. Uh, so we... Uh, Chitlala says this gets pretty insane. Oh, wait, Yeah, does. very quickly. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's like an arcade I'm game. I'm a novice, too. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm like, definitely, a, I'm not getting very far if I'm not. And this isn't Twin Stick, so... Twin Stick twin really helps. so much better. Oh, brains! Oh, now you're dead. Brains, brains, everywhere brains. No! <laughs> get a chance to find maybe, maybe. See how long you can survive on the brain wave. Oh! No! Give me the brain. It's no time salvo, but it's good. That's true. Time salvo is awesome. No, oh. no, why? What is that shoot? Are those shots? Yeah, from the brains. Oh my gosh, they're terrible. Wow, good stuff. No high score for you. High score! <laughs> I'm novice. Big points of saving humanoids, exactly. Yep, don't let them die. Don't let them die, the poor humanoids. They're defenseless. Just they're just wander with... around with their suitcases. That's right, not trying, really sure what's going on. Trying to go to work in the robot apocalypse. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah, not, uh, not oh a good idea. Oh, God. Not a good idea. Should have shot those guys first. Uh, not Lamatron. <laughs> Do they look like ones? <laughs> <laughs> Achy. Oh, no. Fired an achy, that's not good. No, it is very bad. <sighs> oh god. I tried to shoot him, but that guy was in the way. At least to give you a let's live. On this level. I need two sticks. Two sticks, please! Ah. Yes, kittens? I'm gonna shoot that circle. Circles. Why was I firing? Why was I just walking towards it? The circles. The circles that you gotta go for first. 100% they're the worst. Oh, died. Sorry. There's a woman there. Oh, oh I killed everybody before. Okay. Now I die. Oh, God. Oh, I think you did better than me. I don't know, you made it to one life to left. Oh no! I triggered the break menu. No! <laughs> Nine hey. seconds left. Out. That's okay. Nope, 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 two in quartz. This is that is far too plausible. Skynet is external externality to this corporation. You're still expected to be here nine to five. <laughs> True. Um next game is Dig Dog! Would one you like favorites. this one? This is your favorite. I love Dig Dug. Let's see how good this Dig Dug is. I have not played any of these games on the 7800. No. Ooh, so cute! There's Dig, there's Dig cute. Dug. Okay, while you're playing this, I just need to drink some water. Can you get me some water, please? Yes, I can. Is it nice? No. No, it just makes it sweat. <laughs> I don't care about cold water. Stop it! There we go. I oh, got him. Yeah, whenever I go to an arcade and there's Dig Dug there, I have to play. Luckily, I'm decent at it, so I get a lot of worth out of that quarter. Of course, I'm going to play badly now that I've said I'm decent at it. Oh! You die. Okay, need another boulder. Mm, it's gonna be tight. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Nope. There we go. Dee doo. Oh, I shouldn't just kill them. Come 
Come on. Here we go. Squishies for you. Oh. Squish him. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right in my way. Get him. Get the dark brown mushroom. What is this? Put like it's fresh half water. A cup. Ah! <laughs> Tiny little bit of water in there. No. Oh, it didn't go up. How do you use the filtered water? It takes forever to come out. <laughs> oh, I can't drink. Too slow. Okay. Two and one, maybe. No. One. Almost zero. Kitten. <gasps> ah! Bad cats everywhere. Your bad cat. What's up with you? Ah! Ah! Warning! Warning! The treat ball is loose. Oh no! Another treat ball. treat ball! Who's the lucky kitten? Oh, thank you, Gamma Dove! Lucky Atari gets another treat ball! <sighs> yeah, he's in the box. He just like jumped in the box. <laughs> he's like, this he's is where like, the I'm treats ready. Are. I'm ready. This is where the treats are. Please release the treats. Oh, oh, I have to get the webcam cap. There we go. Ah! Release the treats. All right, sweet kitten. Say thank you. Oh, three. Wow, that was good. Say thank you. Meow. Yeah, say thank you to Gamma Dev. Can you say meow? Oh, he's purring. Oh, I hope you can hear him purr. Purring. He's purring away. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Eggplant. For some fun. There you go, treat ball released. Treat balls on the loose. Still no combat background. We'll have to work on that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't have time between shows. Didn't have time shows. in the 15 minutes between yeah. shows <laughs> to start doing that. Oh, God. Oh, I squished myself. Terrible. Terrible. As a Dig Dug expert, how would you say this version compares? Looks uh, pretty good to good. me. It's good. It's uh, good. The controls are a little bit stiff, but... Um, Uh, like that should have turned around instead of going down. Could have been me though. Um, I think the 2600 version is really, really, really good. Um, no, it's it's very competent. Very good version. BBG says it's a very solid port. Yep. Um, the way I judge them usually is by the the pumping action. Nope. Like if you can do a rapid pump. That's a good game. Yeah. yeah. Like you have to be able to do that kind of pumping, like moving Yay. into them and pumping them. Good job. All yep. right, next. Very, very solid part. Next, next. one is Joust. Tanya's favorite. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I bet there's two player on this one. I don't mind it. So the Dig Dug was 82, so it was a four year gap. Joust is 82, so a four year gap as well. Joust, load it. Joust. Oh, did it just start? Oh, sorry. Did you press two players? No, I did not. Did you want two players? Stop pressing buttons. There you go. Up, down. There you go. Prepare to joust. Can we kill each other? Oh, yeah. Oh, very fast flapping in this. Oh, it's so fast. I mean, I don't mind it, because I like it to be able to get out of here. <gasps> hey! Um, the background's very good. I don't know about the... I think they tried too detailed. Actually, the wings on the blue on your character are really, really nice. Yeah, they're very nice. My colors on my character, not impressed with it. 
They're pretty uncle. The enemies, they look good. Um. Mm, okay. You're left, I'm right. Okay. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. You're not listening to me. You're just <laughs> flying all over the place. I'm doing. This is how I play Joust. Am I going to have to kill you? No. No. <laughs> no. No. Be nice. Oh, egg fell in the lava. Lava egg. Oh, no. Hard boiled egg. <laughs> yes. Very hard boiled. Get out of here. It's going in the lava. Oh, it went in the lava. Get. <laughs> okay. Do you want to be in the bottom or in the top? Oh, dead. Okay. Game you be over. You be dead. That's okay. I'll be dead. <laughs> oh, the EVG Joust is probably my least favorite Golden Age arcade game. Never played. Really? I don't mind it. It's very hard. <laughs> Tank is all gas, no brakes. <laughs> she is. I just like going, oh, woo, that game woo, is over. woo. <laughs> button, button, button. Three thousand team points less than the second one to full gladiator. Start again. Definitely buzzer good. Um, I like this version. It's very good. Uh, the controls are very good. Very responsive controls. Ah, it's stupid. Where am I? Flapping is very responsive. It moves very quickly. Uh, the graphics are more than adequate for no. the system. I just feel bad for the ostriches. They've got fully suited knights on their back. Yeah, but they're not suited up. The poor ostriches. Hey, hey get out of here. Don't fly over me. Danger. Yeah, the ostriches have no protection whatsoever. Just plain old ostriches. Yeah. Thank you. 3,000 team points awarded. Good job. Hey, get out of here. Ugh. Always go too low. What you only need to do Ugh. is just stay low until he gets close to you and then flap, flap, flap. Boo! Boo! <laughs> boo, I say. Boo! Boo, my boo, say. Oh, what, it wasn't flapping! Shit, Lula, these are supposed to be ostriches? Flying ostriches? Correct. Happening? Jousting <laughs> flying ostriches. Yeah, it's bizarre. Games in the 80s where uh, anything goes. I could. <gasps> I don't know if there's LSD involved in some of these games. <laughs> Lots of drugs. Copious amounts of drugs were involved in games in the 80s. Oh no, the pterodactyl. Just in time. I'm gonna get this last guy. Or I got. I got gotten. <laughs> Just an email. I mean, if there's a pterodactyl too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything's off. It's all crazy. The table. Did you get them all? Oh, good kitten. He got all so his treats. There is joust box for joust next one up is miss pac-man there you go load it up miss pac-man miss pac-man oh, bring it on do you like me some miss pac-man no break problems uh -oh. yeah, okay oh. Not speedy Miss Pac-Man. No, I like speedy Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> Colors are b deranged on this, but uh, sound is good. Um, graphics are good. Off to play. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It does have some issues. Oh my goodness. Oh, ah, some graphical issues. Very big graphical issues. Oh my goodness. What's going on there? That's fine. Is there a Ms. Galactopus for the Atari 7800? Turn the brake off. Oh, I do that every time now. Oh, is that why there's brake issues? Okay, well, we'll, we'll, ooh, just in time. Don't go for that. You probably could have got it, but. May ah, the pink eye! <laughs> Whoops. 
Yeah, it not seems very, so primitive well. compared to Bob's. I oh. know Bob's are so masterful. So good. Oh, oh, it's getting me all choppy. Give me the cherry. GCC made the arcade version, so if anyone could make make it arcade accurate, they could. Oh, true. Jaguar Joust for the win. Yeah, I like I like speed moves. She's flying. Enemies are vultures. One player is an ostrich, and I think the second player is supposed to be a goose. <laughs> oh, oh, so jumpy. Yeah, break issues. Play through it. You can do it. No, 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 no. Many outs there. No, I'm, Many I'm, outs. I'm, tr it's something about the controls is not so accurate. Well, it's a, it's a four-way game, but yeah. we don't have a four-way joystick. No, ah, what are you doing? Oh I'm my not God. intentional. <laughs> it's not intentional. You're like, don't go that way. What are you, crazy? Almost done. Almost done. Just have to survive a little bit. Get it. Oh, there's some down there. One minute for you. My turn. Skip, skip, skip. We don't have time for this. Don't have time for the cute cutscenes. They do have the cutscenes. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. We played uh, played Miss Pac-Man in the arcade in in L.A. Oh yeah. Uh, what other? There were some games I'd never played before in the arcade. Oh um, what was the one that was right as we oh. entered? That you were like, oh, I've never played this game. You were very excited. Oh yes. Uh, uh it's like a snaky snaky game. Some slither. Oh slither. Yes. I've never played it before. I really enjoyed it. It was crazy. Good job. Ooh, I almost caught it. Yeah. Don't kill yourself over that. No. Um, there was a bunch of games that I was really, really surprised to see. So it was a, it was a lot of fun. <gasps> no. Oh, I you went the wrong way. That, right, that way. Slither. Slither. Yeah, it was good. Oh, it's it's. Uh, I have to turn off the brake. It's it's not. It's a problem with the compatibility of the cartridge and the game, but it is. Um, fixable if you turn off the brake mode on the uh, on the 7800 game drive. Oh, me? You can finish it. Sure. Da, 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 da. Slither was a pack-in game with a Coleco roller controller. Apparently, I never played it on the Coleco. I definitely have it, and I have the roller controller for the Coleco, too. Too many games and too many game systems, not enough time. Maybe we should turn off the brake every time. Um, okay, next one is pole position two. Oh, here's the Ms. Pac-Man box. Do you want this one? Um, you can play it. I can play pole position one. Okay. And here's the pole position two box. Da -da -da. I haven't played this in a long time since C64. In the 80s on the C64. In low gear. How do I go in high gear? I don't know. Down, up, second button. Try all the things. Is second? There you go. Is it? You're in high now. Yep. Just ads for Atari. Nothing but ads for Atari <laughs> on the sides. Oh, another Atari sign. Another. Just blue and... Hello low Atari. again. Hi. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Right? It's just me. Yeah, that's weird. Practice loop. You did it! Qualifying position eight. There. Oh, okay. So it's to qualify you for the position. Uh, okay. So what was, um, what was low and high? Uh, up, uh, up. Accelerate and up. Oh. 
decent port, but bad choice for packing games, says Carl G. Yeah. G says, no, you're in low. No, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Lula, they had this at the Pizza Hut where I lived. Ah, Pizza ah. Hut. Oh, that is a decent fail. Decent explosion. Yeah, I wouldn't say this shows off the prowess of the system very much. Yeah. It's not, I mean, it's, it's fast, but... I wouldn't say it's much an improvement over like a 2600 racing game. Like, obviously the car graphics are good, but you know, not much more to it. Like, I have to look up what year this came out. And is it, was it fairly new at the time? Because to be a... In, like a decent pack-in game, it'd be, it'd be better to have a newer arcade game. Uh, Gavin Dev says, Atari never had good pack-in after combat. Super breakout <laughs> for the 5200, what were they thinking? Cyber Morph wasn't much better. Yeah. Well, you have to have a system seller for a, a pack-in game. Like something that people go, oh my god, I will buy it just so I can play that game. It was well before Ball Blazer. That would have been a very good pack. Sarah says the ST Power Pack was awesome. Oh, what uh, what games came in the ST Power Pack? I guess it's for Atari ST. Yeah. What place am I in? Does it even say? It doesn't even say. Uh, I think I've passed more than one. Lapping them. Five miles per hour. Pretty fast. Yeah, not the turns, but. Buggy Boy Gauntlet 2, Super Sprint, and a bunch of others. Oh, wow. that is. That's a good. Uh, yeah, good to get an assortment. That's a good assortment. Different genres, too. I just had my NES with uh, Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers. Did you, have, you must have had a gun then? Yes. Oh, you did have a gun. We did have a light gun. Yeah. Oh, nice. Final lap. Wow, perfect timing. Yep, 50 seconds left. Oh, no! 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 Come on, dear. Come on. Speed up. Speed up. I mean, I've lapped all this part, so I should have done that first. Oh, God. Two people went by me while I was struggling with this stupid. Straight on the ground. Supposedly in this race. Did I not finish? I didn't finish! Because I crashed once? Oh, I don't know. Lots of passing bonuses. Shit, low. I remember when Formula <laughs> One cars had only two gears. Low yeah. and high, that's all you yeah, get. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this um was came out in the arcades in eighty three. So if it came out in 84 when it was supposed to, this would have been probably a decent pack-in game, but three years later. Kind of uh, underwhelming. Kind of really underwhelming. Next one is Galaga. Ooh. Um, this is the first non-May 1986. This came out in August 1986. Um, this is still termed a launch title because it was the first sparkly. year. It's a sparkly game. It's a nice, nice logo. Nice logo. I don't think this Galaga is very great. No. Shipped kind of, eh. Um, slow and chunky. So this is in the arcade in 81. So five years later, it comes to the home console after being out on everything. Very slow. <laughs> Was there a, a choice of different no levels? It was I just see it. straight up Galaga. You don't get beginner, advanced, or anything. You might as well kill it. Well, you never know. Oh. Yeah, their flying patterns are like different. We didn't want to draw too much. It might suck you up anyway. I don't know. Might be one of those things where the developers didn't get a chance to watch the arcade. Ah! Move to the left. Usually they don't go right <laughs> to the corner. There. It's not behaving properly. I knew it. Different levels start you at different stages. Oh my god! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I didn't realize it started right away. Dead. 
Am I dead? No, you got one left. One left? Yep. That doesn't make quite, quite sense. Yeah, you died once and you got one ship sucked up. No! Yay! Hi! 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 It's the box for Galaga. And right up there, I have this exact poster of the Ow! kids. Whoa, this is different. Oh, yeah. I have the exact poster signed by the artist. <laughs> as he goes to uh, PRGE all the time. It just feels not Weird. very fluid. Uh, no, it's it's like very chunky. kind of chunky and slow. Hey, 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 hey. Like everything, you and the um, the enemies are chunky and slow. Yeah, not the same. <laughs> no, that was, that was the no, because they were spaced out in it. Like oh, yeah, it's all weird. Ah, terrible. Um, Terrible. Champ Games destroys this version. Oh, yeah. Just night and day. Double Down says, All contemporary ports of Galaga are terrible, but I'm a Galaga snob. I, I hope you have played Champ Games Galaga. It's pretty good. It is astounding. Where's my copy? Uh, because it's horizontal versus vertical, they had to slow the vertical movements to compensate. Ah, dead. Oh. Sorry, Dis distracted. Cat distraction. Terrible, terrible. Do you want a chance to play it? I can die. I do. Okay. Where's I'll my Galaga? Die, die. There's Boom, my dead. Okay. Kate, it's your turn. What? You got a minute and 20 seconds. Okay. I feel like something's going to follow me whenever There's you do my that. Galaga. Very nice. Note what it says on the skirt on the on the box. Galaga special limited edition. Doesn't say Galagon. <laughs> ah. This is so chunky. Chunky Galaga. I mean, it's. It probably would have been fine for the time. People would be like, okay, it's Galaga, it's fine. Not like people who are like really good at Galaga would think it was fine. They would think it was garbage. But, um. Yeah. But people who didn't, who just had a passing uh, interest in. Oh my god, that guy just <laughs> zooms down to mm -hmm. get you. So weird. Mm -hmm. Double Down says, I need arcade accuracy. DVD Double Down. I only play the PS1 Namco Museum Volume 1 version at home on a CRT turn oh. sideways. Oh my god. That is arcade accuracy. It has Tate mode for the PS1? Wow. That's really good. Okay, just want to finish level. Okay, next game up. Xevious. <laughs> Chalcedony Mouse says filthy Galaga casuals. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Is Zevias. And I'm it's going to dangerous. guess. It's devious. It's Zevious. Yes. Great. Zevious. It's a great uh, you can go right. tagline. Oh, is that what it says? It's dangerous. It's devious. It's Zevious. Dangerous. Devious. I like it. Well, you know how to say it then. Devious, Zevious, right? Oh, this game. It's the. Terrible it is. Mother. <laughs> Mother of all shooters. Horizontal. Oh my god, scrolls. I'm sucking at this something awful. Pick a side. You keep missing them because they fly. Is there off. A, how do you go down? How do you Bomb? Second button. Okay, you thank you. It's like how do you play this again? Wahaha! Ah, Arcades in 1983. So this would have been good in 84. In 86? Meh. Not so good. Not sure what this is all about, <laughs> about this version, but I prefer to it to the NES one. I mean, it looks it looks fine. It looks looks good. Scrolling's good. Um, the graphics are good. Um, the sounds are good. Got 
comparing it to like the 2600 version, this is one I have not played in the arcades. I've never seen any arcade have this one. The level did you play? Intermediate? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, intermediate. Probably a good choice. Yeah. You played this game. I so. have played it, I just haven't. It, takes, it always takes me a second to have played it in the last little while. You have no idea, right? Oh, yeah. You did? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Not. It took me a second. Ah, like that. Enemies are too hard to hit unless you're far up on the screen. Yeah, they do zoom you away. You do quick. have to be very high up on the screen, actually. Because your bullets aren't, like, super fast. Yeah. <laughs> Successfully eating. Oh, no, this is a good version. Yeah, it looks very good. This is fine. I'll give a thumbs up. Galaga? No. No, I do not give Galaga a thumbs up. Ah. It's fine. Pole position two is fine. Miss Pac-Man is. It's actually it's decent. I would give a it's, thumbs up to Miss Pac-Man. Thumbs up to Dig Dug. Thumbs up to Joust. Is that how we're doing it? Just, just thumbs, thumbs up, up or down. thumbs down? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you got this. This is thumbs up. Robotron. I'd I'd give it a thumbs up. Oh, food this fight. Is zero. Up. It's starting over. Do you want to play? Oh sure. Um yeah. Uh anything thumbs down yet? Uh Galaga. The Galaga. Yeah, just, it wouldn't be my well. choice of Galaga. Like in terms, um, like we're thinking of terms of playability now. Well, and joust, but that's just my. my I think the joust was fine. Joust. I think it, I think it was fine. I think it looked good. I mean, you don't have to like it. I don't. But you just have to. Zevius is good. Um, Miss Pac-Man's adequate. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Not astounding, but no, it was fine. Not my best. All right, good night, Chelsea Dunny Mal. Good night, Chelsea Dunny Mal. Thanks for hanging out with us. The Toga says this game was the one that made me play it in the arcades. Yeah. Ah, it's, it's okay. a good bird conversion. This, this feels like um like um Chris Chris Walton's version on the 2600 is is very good, and this is really good as well. Oh my God, intermediate. About the right level I'd want to play at. Mm. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Is, mm. oh my god, what was that? Ah. Crunching. Oh my god. Mm. You hear it? It's rather crunchy. Zero now, Zeus is probably my favorite arcade game. Ah, it's a great shooter. It's a very early shooter, mm -hmm. but it's a great shooter. Uh, so, okay, next one is Choplifter. Which I have the cartridge for. Mm. Not the box, but I have the cartridge for it. Okay, Choplifter, made by iBid Inc. Developed by iBid Inc. Mm -hmm. Okay, load up. Um, this, oh, last one was released November 1986. It's titled a launch title. So we're out of the launch titles now. Uh, Choplifter 1987, August. And uh, in the arcade in 82. So that's a five year gap, approximately. So there's planes. You have to go rescue the people. Have you played this before? Nope. You have to go find the people, oh, then yeah. sit down, set your helicopter down. Love it. Your Atari symbols in the corner. And then set your helicopter down, let them get on board, and bring them back. There? Yeah, I think you have to bomb them buildings to get them out, too. Shoot yep, there them. you go. And, oh, oh, get help. that guy. Oh, oh. No. No. Oh, you're going to get killed with all the people in it. Ah! Oh. So how do uh, I you bomb? have to turn to the side to bomb straight down. <laughs> but I don't know the controls, but I will. Uh, there you go. Second button. See? Ah, uh, gotcha. Second button. You have to try all the buttons. To try I, all the I buttons do, when you but play. I find moving in weird locations. I love how it looks like they're throwing there tennis go. balls at each other. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Get on board. Tank's coming. Ah! 
unfortunately. You can crush them. Oh, more Can times. you? Oh, oh God. No. You've killed so many people. Third sortie. Fly backwards. Yay. Oh, that was a good shot. Accidentally. You can't you can you can land on the people. Okay, we're gonna get some people back. We're gonna rescue people before this game is over. It is it looks pretty good. The graphics are, are quite good. Yeah, they are quite good. I realized this game was developed by Broader Bun for the Apple II, but Sega killed it with the arcade version. I uh, never played in the arcade. I played it on the C64. Probably the Apple II as well. Seems like a game I'm playing the Apple. Right, so that one's done. I don't know why you have to bomb the buildings. It seems terrible. Oh god. Oh! No! Stop killing them. Or did I kill them? Okay, everybody run over here. There's jets in the air. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. Oh, no, one more guy. Come here. Oh, that was lucky. Smoosh. Seven, eight. <gasps> ah! Game over. Interesting. Correction, the computer version was 1982. This version is based on Sega's 1985 arcade oh, version. Oh, is it? Okay. But still, the original is from 82. Mm. So people would be like, oh, I played this in the Apple in 82. I can't shoot this one. Oh, and without shoot. Sega's background music, just not the same. Ah. Mm. There we go. Okay, everybody. Sorry, I think I killed that guy. This is where you want to be, right beside the building. Yeah. You can take 12? No? Nope. 15. Okay, 15. Okay. Ooh. Let's get him back. This is like safe zone here. Yeah, uh, you have to get past the uh, Atari. People are like, no, that's too close to the no, building. No, 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 no. We're no, not getting out. No, 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 no. That's too dangerous. We want a little bit of a run. More than one at a time. Get out of the helicopter. Yeah, there bye bye. Go. See you later. I always had a hard time with the jets because they just appear out of nowhere and just destroy you. Is it because you're on the ground for too long? Uh, no. They just they, they come when you're in the air too. Oops, sorry. <gasps> See how? How are you? I maybe are you have to, to shoot react them? to that. Who knows? Yeah. No radar in this. This is a game I have not played very much. That's why I'm terrible. CBG Arnold, get out of the chopper! <laughs> get to the chopper. Okay, go! Oh! oh, you just have to take off. That's all you have to do. Come on. Oh, stop it. All I had to do was take off and I was fine. So I just have to be ready. Seven. See? Just took off. It was fine. It's the bombs. Ah! I'll get these guys back. All right. Get them back. Get them back. Let's go. Get past the Atari mountains. There's the Atari. Yay. Parallax. Get him that. Oof. God. Just pick people. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Horrible to compare to the eight Atari 8-bit eight version. There, I said it. That's fine. <laughs> yep. That's totally fine. Is it a thumbs up, though, or is it a not? Um, it plays reasonably well. I think it's a thumbs up. I don't have a lot to compare to because it's not it's not a game I played very much. Yeah. Next one's 101 Basketball by Man Development Corporation, October 87. This I played a lot on the C64. So this originally came out in 82 on the Apple II. So let's do two-player. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. New game. Okay, go down. Shirt down. Two players. Yep, down. Computer, two player. Two player. Play to set score. Okay, press it. Uh, to X points, because we don't have much time. Down, 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 down. Uh, yeah, eight. Uh, go up to new game and, and press go. Let's see who's who. You're Dr. J. I'm Larry Bird. How does this work? Just like yeah. That. Just like that. Yeah. And you don't stop till you break the backboard. That's right. And you press the button to turn around, hold the button to shoot. It's very simplistic controls. Yeah. Button for easy. jump, button for turning around. 
Is and you there... just touch. I think you just a button for blocking. Button for blocking. And it's red on red, so it's very hard to see. But you do have to take it. Oh, good block. Yeah. See if I can get it from there. Oh yeah. Oh, nothing but net. Now you can break the backboard if you do a jump shot. How do I do that? And you go really close. And you hold the button. You have to, you have to go really close. Traveling. Yeah, you didn't let go of the ball. Oh. Oh! Uh, I haven't quite figured out the Let's see if controls. I can do it. Oh. Let oh, me break the backboard. It. You try it. There we go! Nice! Comes out and sweeps <laughs> it up. <laughs> he complains. Yep. Oh, look, he sweeps up the whole line of glass. That's funny. I did get a point for that, though. You did. Ah. Larry Legend breaking glass. Yeah. Oh, blocked. Oh, blocked. No, I stole it. Oh, you have to take it out. You have to take it out. Oh, again. yeah, that's Very, right. very, very, very faint, non-lined area. I forgot about that rule. Okay, cool. do it again. Uh, time out. Oh, I held it too long. Oh, I didn't clear it. Nope, that didn't work very well. I guess it was too I far away. It. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Neat. It's it's not a bad for a button and joystick controller. It's it's a cute arcade style basketball game. Ugh, I'm not don't have my release of the ball time very well there. Long shot. Uh of course I didn't get it. Clear it. Oh, what's that? I'm reaching in. Who did? I popped it out, did I? Oh, maybe. Interesting. Or you did. I don't know. Yeah! <laughs> Played a ton of this in my Tandy 1000, the sequel Larry Bird Michael Jordan. Oh, I didn't play that one. I played this one quite a bit on my C64. By myself. Oh, sad! Against the computer. Oh, well, you got good against the computer then. Yeah. Because I'm not very good at this. I'm okay. All right, 8 Bit Poet, thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Happy birthday to the 7800. One more point for me. One more and I, I win. I think you've won. No, I didn't. I have to steal the ball from you. you to give it to me. Jump higher. Oh, I'm so tired. I've been jumping too much. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Yay. End, of, End game. of game. Good job. Next one is Karatika, the slowest game ever. Now I will have to play this because you will be a baffled unless you played this game before. I Made not, by I did. We have, we have on the show. October nineteen eighty. No, we only play Homebrew. some kind of version. Of it? No, no, we never played this on the show. You've, you've mentioned it recently, so I have. It's made by the same person who uh, did. Um. Bruderbund. 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 Is that how you say it? Bruderbund? Broderbund? That not Broderbund. Joystick <laughs> controls are so bad. It's not slow. Oh, a I Prince know. of Persia. That's right. Mechner. Jordan Mechner. Okay, let's get to the game. Did I win this game? Yes, I have beaten this game on my C64. It is slow. Okay. Let's get to it. <laughs> the five minutes will be up before you even get to start playing. There we go. Very nice. It looks really nice. Is this not the right joystick? What is happening? How come I can't do anything? There we go. Something is very wrong. Worst port ever. 
Look at uh, Mount Fuji in the background there. Very nice. What is happening? Are the joystick controls different than the C64? How come I can't move properly? Don't hurt me. Oh, something's wrong. Did they change it for this release? Oh, really? I don't know what I'm doing then. Let's kick low. I know how to kick low. Oh, it seems to be working reasonably well. Nope, oh, kick to the face. I have no health left. Oh, he's retreating. I don't know how to move, though. Next, says Toko. Next! <laughs> Chicken next? Okay. These questions and more shall not be answered as nobody knows why this is so bad. <laughs> and Dan ABC's out now. <laughs> it's getting late, almost midnight. Ah, uh, we'll have a good night, Dan. The controls make no Kick sense. Kick high up and right. Controls make no sense. Down and right, kick low, up and right, kick middle right. But how do you move? Do you hold the button to move? Maybe you hold the button to move. Oh, you do. That's so dumb. It should look so much better. I don't know how, but they downgraded the graphics from the Apple II. <laughs> it's missing him climbing the cliff, the cinematic oh, cutscenes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, there's no, no cutscenes. Didn't have enough memory to do the cutscenes. But that's the whole game, is the cutscenes. Otherwise, it's a terrible fighter. Yeah. Yep, this is a thumbs down. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's a nice little relaxing interlude in, in, in our uh, game uh, <laughs> marathon here, but... Uh, Compared to the original, this is trash. Is it? Yeah. And the, you didn't... Was the original not great? No, I liked it. Oh, okay, okay. It's a different type of game. Like it's more slow and. This is actually faster than the C64 really? version. Really? Hmm. Oh, I almost got him! I gotta defeat this guy. Stop. Right button changes from standing to fighting stance. Oh, okay. I'm getting a handle on the controls. Come on. Cyrano, is it me or has the countdown clock slowed down as well? <laughs> Everything slows down. Smitty's oh, the right button. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. At least that cutscene. And it just goes to that? <laughs> Where's all the running? This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is a t thumbs down. <laughs> they really cheaped out on this one. The funny thing is, I don't know why they cheaped out, because all the scenes. Yeah. With all the the dialogue and stuff, all the backgrounds are in the game. You have to pass through all of them. All the characters in the cutscenes are in the game. So why wouldn't they just incorporate them in? Yeah. Hmm. Same thing, but in Vomit Green. Yeah, this is a terrible, terrible version of it. It's faster than the other versions I've played, so that's good. That's something, I guess? Ball Blazer! One of the best games on the system. Um, so this is a winter spring release for 87 88. There was no time for it. This has uh, an extra chip in the cartridge. Has a pokey chip, first game to have pokey chip. So we're gonna play two players, because there is two players. Oh. Oh, hopefully this just... Yeah, we're good. So what are we doing? So it is a first person perspective. You're on the top. Okay. I'm at the bottom. What am I doing? You have to find the ball, which I just did. And as soon as you find the ball, it automatically faces you towards the other person's goal. And then you make your way to the goal. And then you press the button, you fire it in, which I missed. So you've got the ball now. You head, head the way you're heading. What? You lost it because I got Did it. Did hit me? Yeah. Interesting. I'm very confused. So you can see me now on your screen. Oh. So I'll let you you have the ball. I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> it's very hard to keep track of where, where so you, you are. So you see the ball. Yeah. It's over there. There it is. So now you've got the ball in your possession because it's wiggling back and forth. There's the goal post. And then when you... There you go. Got it. You got it. First person future soccer, my absolute least favorite 7800 game. game. 
I think it's very ambitious. Game. Oh. Oh, you got it. What? Oh. Going back and forth. Going towards your goal. Got it. And it's got um, procedurally generated music that is different every time you play it, which is interesting. But it always sounds good, the music. It's terrible. And the goals, goals are getting smaller oh, as you get higher up. So it makes it harder to get a goal. I think the more goals you get, the smaller the... Do I have... Where's your goal You post? have the ball. Where is it? You have it still? Have How it. do I get it from you? Press the button, I think. Oh, it releases it from you and then you have to get it again? I got it. More points for over the horizon shot. Oh, good luck with that. I can barely get it in when I'm next to the goal. Oh, you've got it. You get it so fast. It's probably because I'm able to see it. See it a bit quicker. Oh, 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 oh. I don't, oh. I don't here we go. Let's just bump into the person to get it. Oh, oh really? Ah! Oh, oh, got it back. Oh, oh, you're bumping at me. Oh, didn't get it, but... Jocelyn. Jocelyn back and forth. Yeah! 4-4. Four, four. Minute to go. And our timer. 17 seconds to go in the game, though. Tied if we, I don't know what happens if you're tied. You run out of time. Oh, so close. I'm just shooting for the goal. I pulled the goalie. Didn't help the Canucks. No, it did not. Poor, poor Canucks. Oh, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I think it's an ambitious game. It's a little disorienting to try and figure out where you mm -hmm, are. Mm -hmm. So this was an original title. Is it? No. 85, it came on the Atari 8-bit. So it mm -hmm. came on the Atari 8-bit before this. Uh, and then two years later, it came out in the 7 Mines. Also came out on the C64 and Apple II. Never played it on the C64. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we'll just start getting to the next one because we're not going to start a new game with that. Uh, next game is Desert Falcon, a game I have not played very much. It's very weird. Okay. General Computer Corporation, August 1988. It says it's a launch title as well, even though it came out later. One player? Uh, we'll just two? do two players. I would do novice. Okay. Because I have no idea what's going on. So you can fly or you can walk. You can hop. You're an eagle. How do you fly? I don't know. Try <gasps> buttons. Ooh. Very pretty. So there's bad things on the ground, bad things in the air. So it's very much like Zaxxon. You have to get to the ground and pick, click to collect things, like those symbols, oh, I gosh. think. Yeah, or at least that diamond. Of, um... Zaxxon with falcons. Yeah. yeah. It's a weird one for me. Probably technically nicer than the Atari 8 bit, but doesn't play as well as the 8 bit. How do I get in the air? Oh, you have to pull down. Yeah, it's the opposite of what you think it should be. It's, well, it's, it's airplane like airplane rules. rules, yeah. So there's that. I see. Get the pan. Get the scarab. Ah. You can go back and like left and right really quick. Ah, but you're always moving forward. Yeah, you can't go backwards. So if you miss it, it's over. I don't know. You just collect things, get yeah, to the end, I guess. That makes sense. I was, thinking, oh. I was thinking it's kind of more of an adventure game, but I don't think so, because you can't go backwards. Desert Falcon used all the 7800 supplies of the orange color, which why why orange isn't many other games. Yeah. It's all orange. Oh, I didn't even get to drink any of my drink. Sorry. I'm not very good at this. There we go. <laughs> it's uh, an interesting, interesting game, though. Yeah. It's, it's something. Mm. I don't know if it's good. 
It's a shooter. <laughs> it's something. It's a shooter and a hopper. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's different. I, I, hop, uh, hop, hop. I, don't, I don't dislike it. So you have to land and hop? Yeah. From what I remember, the 2600 version, you collect specific combinations of items oh. to get power-ups. Well, it says what you need or what you have oh. at the bottom. So it is. you do have to do specific things. I went right down. It's the up-down thing. <laughs> My brain doesn't work that way. Never get me to fly. Hit the R button. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Ah! I'm invincible! It says I'm invincible. Yeah. At least for now. Is that true? Oh, I can fly right through things. Seems I'm flying slower as I'm invincible. I'm still invincible, it says. Let's test that out. Oh, yeah! So I guess there's, oh no, Pyros. not invincible anymore. No. So there are th combinations that you, oh, I got the boss. I, maybe, oh. Or something. Yeah, that wasn't a boss. It's cool though. Graphics are, are decent. So much gold to collect. Come on, fly a little bit. Reading the manual helps. Uh, yeah. We don't have time for that. Oh! Oh, I, I made it to the non-orange land. Oh, I went down into the water or something? Well, that's oh, cool. The fire's the pretty next cool. Level, yeah. I would say the uh, graphics are very impressive on this. I'm not a super big fan of Zaxxon. Yeah. So I'm not a super big fan of... The um, style game? Three-quarter view shooters. Yeah, like the kind of diagonal shooters too. Yeah. Ah. Where you have to look at your shadow to figure out where they are in height, and then yeah, it's just makes it more difficult than it needs to be. I think. It's like, look at us. We made a three-quarter view. I'll just do a top. View. <laughs> Don't make it so complicated. Ah, can't can't, can't hop, hop over, over the water. water. Actually, I'm not a super huge fan of any three-quarter view game. Mm. Like, um, there are very few. Like ones where you have to like our RPGs and you travel through different like doors, yeah. like flip screen three-quarter view games. Oh my god! I just wait for them to come to my height. Bullets are cool because they they transform as you shoot them. They start out as little, little shots. single uh, things. Yeah. Just better collect some stuff. Because oh, because they come right down to your level and then you die. <laughs> Whoa! What? Oh my goodness! It was sick of me playing. They were thinking three dimensionally. This game looked great in magazines. It's actually not as fun as what we imagined. Yeah. Okay, next game is Summer Games. We will not get through much of this. <laughs> uh, by Epics, August 1988. So, Summer Games. Oh, there's Karatika. I don't have Summer Games on cartridge or... um. Oh, it's not loading. That's not uh -oh. going to be good. Well, let's see if I can turn off the brake, maybe. maybe. That's what needs to be done. Brake disabled. Start game. Without reading the manual, Summer Games is unplayable. <laughs> For moves, yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Uh... Not working. May have to skip this. And do it another show. Mm. And I don't. And the bad thing is, I don't have it on cartridge. You don't have another. I would have popped in the cartridge. Yeah. That sucks. Oh well. Move on. We would play almost nothing of summer games because there's so many events. Events, yeah. Uh, next one is uh, winter games, which I don't expect to work through this yeah. for some reason because okay. that didn't work, and it's the same company. But I do have it on cartridge. Okay, so, so we could play it on cartridge. At worst. Mm. 
Uh, let's just turn off the brake just in case. Nope. Okay. Okay. Only one event. <laughs> 100 meter dash. Wiggle the joystick. Actually, use the cartridge. You have to change the input, though. It would be S video, right? 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 If I plugged it in, right? Right? Yes. There we go. This summer and winter games, I, yeah, two joysticks, good. Compete in some events. We're not gonna compete, oh, just end, who cares? Oh, put an A then, or three. Perfect. Canada with the kind of weird flag. Oh, I do get to use my second joystick. Okay, and, oh, we'll do that. Just gonna put in a J. Whatever you like. And I'm going to be Brazil. Oh yeah, let's be Brazil. Where's oh? There's Atari in here. Uh, we don't have a player three. Okay, we are going to do bobsled. Okay. Is that it? Four. Any others? Uh, biathlon's not bad, but let's just do bobsled. We only have time for bobsled. Okay. Go compete. How does this work? Uh, left and right. As it goes up on the left, press to the right. There you go. That's how you play it. Oh, and there's no audio because I have to switch it. Temporarily. Crash? Nope. You did nope. it! 28 well, that seconds. That was good or bad, but I did it. Can of weed flag. Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. pretty much. Okay, press button. My turn. Zebra. ZPH from Brazil. I played this game a lot on the C64. You were anticipating except, the turns. Very nice. Except for the ice skating, on which you fall down every time. Ah, I see. It's all you do in the ice skating is fall down. Very hard to get a good score. The controls are impossible. <laughs> impossible. Oh, what did you get? Seven twenty-nine. Really? I don't. I don't remember. Oh, attempt, attempt two. two. Understand. Why did you have to change the video config and audio after changing the game cartridge? Because we'll have a little bit more time in this one because we have to fool around a bit. Um, because the 7800 game drive outputs through uh, SCART. It's an RGB system. And it is only reading off. Oh, <gasps> oh no, no, I went the wrong way. Get no score for that one. Boo. And we're using actual cart, and the highest press button. The highest thing I have on my system is S video, because there is no RGB mod for 7800 that's been made. So I had to change what's plugged into my upscaler because everything because 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 it, because it outputs in different spots for S video. Everything's going through the start. I can memorize the course at this point. 2807, that's pretty much what I got last time. Okay. I think we got three attempts? Yep. Surprised Epics didn't make a Sim Olympic Games when you had to host the Olympics without bankrupting your city. <laughs> yep. That's funny. Yeah, that would be... I don't know how much fun that would be. You have to... Yeah, you'd have to put money into advertising, figure out housing for the Olympic um, athletes, 
where to build the Olympics. <laughs> it would be like what? Yeah. It's too far to travel to the ski hills. Yeah. Rah, rah, rah. Press button. That would be. An, I don't know. Or if it's the Vancouver Winter Games. Um. It gets so warm that they have to start shipping snow down from the mountains so people can actually take yep. the, do the events. So. so you could put that in, environmental issues. Random environmental issues. This is... Yeah, that's when it does a double. Almost exactly the same. Very good. I think you beat me. Just. Just. Something about that's not right. Brazil beating Canada. <laughs> okay, so we'll do some events again, and we'll do the, well, the biathlon okay. is good. Okay. Oh, no. Not speed skating. You're doing that. Yeah. Okay. You press the button next time. Okay. How does this uh, work? Left, right. You have to get the right rhythm. Stir. Up, down. Up, down. I can't believe I remember this from 30 years ago. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh my gosh. Okay, we won't get through much of this, but up, do down. I do this? Up, down? I think. Left, right again, still. It's it's a rhythm oh. it's a rhythm game really. Oh, your pace is terrible. How how so fast should it be? Not fast. You have to build up to it. There, there, and you have to do long movements until you get faster, and then you can do shorter movements. See, I cross country ski, so this is not <laughs> <laughs> not accurate. Down, up, down. Get some get some speed. There you go. Left, right, left, right. Keep it up, keep it up. Left, right, faster. Oh, you lost it all. Oh. Yeah, it is. Exit to menu. Main menu is my favorite sport. Mine too. We've got to get to the shooting. Come on. There you go. Oh. You should play this. <laughs> I should have. I have never played this game before. It's so cute, though. It is cute. Yay. Okay, press the button when it's over it. Or up, down to reload. Up, down. There. And up again. What? There, now loaded. It's loaded. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. There, loaded. Down, up. I don't know. One of them. Just keep pressing up and down. Yay! Oh, terrible. Get some speed. <laughs> Down, pull back, bolt, up, lug, lock, bolt. <laughs> yeah. Like on a gun. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's fun, though. Yeah. I like the complexity of it, actually. Yep, yep. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's action oh. and kind of puzzly. Yeah, you have to figure out the movements. And as you say, like a... Oh, kitten. Did you, did you miss this? There's a treat on the floor. Where? There's a treat right there. Completely missed it. I threw it to him. Oh. <laughs> There's a tree just sitting right there. Okay, the next game is uh, Donkey Kong. We should know how to play this. Now, this is embarrassing. Donkey Kong came out in November 1988 on the 7800. You want to play? One player? So probably the longest lag. Two player? Uh, two player. Longest lag. So seven years between when it was in the arcade to when it came out on, on the 7800. Oh, I gotta switch inputs. Because oh it looks goodness. like trash. It does. <laughs> right away! Right away! Run away from the barrel! <laughs> right away! That's how you gotta do it. Run away from the barrel. The sound is not good. Graphics are fine. Oh, oh. Uh, I couldn't jump over those two barrels. Should have went for the hammer. Mm -hmm. And the TI could have sounded much better. Yes, I agree. They're... My 
they really drop the ball on the sound. To make it all the way up the ladder before no, you start pressing very... left and right. Keep going! Fireball's after you. Gotta get up make to the up top of the ladder. It's like you're pushing up and it doesn't go all the way. The graphics are good. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a lot better than 2600. Oh, yeah. Yes, miles better. But... The sound lol, yeah. Yeah, the sound really let it down. I think the, like, the movement and everything's fine. I'm guessing they have all the screens. <laughs> Oh, the barrels are moving nicely. Yeah. Holds promise for having all the screens. Yenny's version came on 86, so it's not an outrageous release. Like, this came on 88. After the NES. Seven years after the arcade. Terrible. Mario looks a little, a little funky there. Oh my god, terrible. What is up with you? Demanding. Demanding, and yet, I well, he found one treat, and he's like, there's more treats. The jumping sounds fine for me. The movement sound. Oh, you're in trouble. Saved by the barrels. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky too. That was lucky too. Ugh. Why does this hurt so hard? Pissing off Nintendo's rather easy though. Yeah, don't do anything they don't want you to do. This is the first 7800 game I ever played, and it was through a broken RF connector. So not a good uh, impression of the 7800. Oh, nice. Yes. You gotta watch the bounces. You have to figure out where you Didn't can you stand. Didn't you watch King of Kong, where he traced I on the did. screen all I the know, bounces? I know. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. Pull the knees out. He wasn't called Jumpman. Was he? He was called Jumpman. He was. No, he was Mario. No. Was he? No. Is it over? Yeah. Yeah, we died. We're terrible. Um, <laughs> so the next one is Donkey Kong Jr. Two more to go. From International Technology Development Corporation. November 1988. And Donkey Kong Jr. was in the arcades in 82. So six years after it hit the arcades. It blazed onto the 7800. Donkey Kong Jr.? Yep. Two players. Oh. oh that's fine. You play single player. Okay. Have you played this game before? Oh, yeah. Well, oh. Yeah. Redemption for the Garbage 2600 game that's called Call Donkey Kong Jr. Mm. Yeah, that that's like interpretive video gaming. It looks like just weirdness. Oh, yeah. birds, wow. And they're making a mess. Ah, ah, ah! That looked good. Yep. The, the, the fruit's pretty good. Sound is a bit of a letdown. 
Crazy Clown says, The company that made the DK and DK Jr. ports has this really generic name like Game Developers Institute or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's... Um, Crappy birds. International <laughs> Technology Development Corporation. Nice. So generic. It's like, did you just set it up just to make this one game? No! No, I kept pressing. No! That's uh, not good. This is a game I, I don't play much. I thought I could make it over. Synergistic Core Competencies Paradigm, Paradigm Shift, Shift Studios. Studio. Uh, nice. About the equivalent. Core Competencies, I guess. <laughs> Score! Uh, get out of here. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, yay! Okay. 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 Perfect opportunity. Oh, good, perfect. Did it, did it, did it, did Old girlfriend's dad had a Donkey Kong Jr. cocktail in the basement. I was very humbled by. Or when playing against her, yeah. Well, you if you have your own, <laughs> it's like playing pool against someone who has a pool table in their yeah, house. Good luck. It's like they put in the hours. Yeah, they have for sure. So I was jealous of people with their pool tables. Oh yeah. Because one, they had the room for one. Oh, God, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> it was nowhere near it. <laughs> And it, and I it agree. Hit me. I agree. I, I'm with you. I'm siding was... with you in your lawsuit against uh, the uh, mm, yeah. 7800 Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> I have to look up International Technology Development there you Corporation. Go. See what they're yeah, what they're doing, doing now. nowadays. <laughs> that hitbox. My, oh my God, goodness. the hitbox is huge. One more chance to redeem myself. Right. What? Oh, I thought he was gonna go. This is not a good redemption. But a full size. Oh, that t- is cool. And a pool. <gasps> oh, I wasn't looking. I was reading. Yeah, full size pool table and a ping pong table and a pool. You yes, the, your house was the place to be. You were the cool house. Yeah. Bet you had popsicles and a big freezer, too. <laughs> a freezer in your garage. Yep. With all the Coke you ever wanted all to All the drink. Coke, all the pops, all the freezies, or whatever you call them in your neck of the woods. Otter. Otter pops. Pops or whatever they are. <laughs> Yeah. Strange name. Freezies is not as strange as Otter Pops. Otter Pops? <laughs> what is that a reference to? It's just a brand. To? It's just a brand. Otters? I guess so. What does otters have to do with frozen sugar things? <laughs> I like Freezies, yeah. Did have freezer in the garage full of coffee cans of cookies. Cookies? Oh, uh, my mom made. Yeah, my mom oh, loved to freeze her okay. cookies. I'm going to try this. this. Thoroughly enjoyed freezing her cookies. The second last game. Anymore, so. Okay, one more game, <laughs> and it is a hockey game. It is Hat Trick, the Atari 7800. And here's Donkey Kong Jr. Here's Donkey Kong. Sorry, I'm falling behind. There's Ball Blazer. And here is One on One. Slam dunk basketball action. Yes. Okay. Uh, what was the last one? Sorry. Already forgotten. Hat trick. Hat. Tr- oh. Let's see if we can pick Vancouver. Uh, to Blair. Novice. No, there's no. Oh yeah, you're not playing these. So we'll see who is the novice. Oh my God, it's one on one. Okay, who am I? Wait, wait. Oh, there's momentum. I'm red. And he's blue. Ah. Nice. Oh, no, I missed it. How do I get it? Oh. Ah. Yeah! No! You shot that into your own goal. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. No! Nope, nope, nope. This is like super bouncy. It is, uh. Yeah! yeah. No. <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, goodness. 
Oh, I missed it. Ah, I'm just spinning around. It's very, very slidey. How do you pick up the puck? Oh, you heavy. have to touch it with your, with your stick. Yeah, that's usually how hockey works. <laughs> well, I didn't know how video yeah, gamey but... it was. And... Oh, yeah. oh, block it. Yep, good. Okay. No! Pick it up! Get in there! Get it! Do, do. Gosh, it's like the Kinect's playing the other side. Ah, yeah! 2600 is electro. Yes, it really, it's really. No NES I saw. It. it feels a lot like Electro Ball, actually. Oh yeah. Oh, why is it not shooting? Except what am I doing? Except Electro Ball's better. How how do you shoot? <laughs> I press button. Oh, so you just go bloop. bloop. Yep. Can you at, can you angle it? Uh, You've I been angling it. Have I? I guess it's the direction you're facing. Yes. Yeah, you're. It's the direction you're facing. It's, it, it's the direction. Yeah, this is Electro Ball. Oh, I can't get it to go anywhere but completely straight. <laughs> it is, it's difficult to, it is to get really, it. It is really, really weird, the controls. I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm not. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's hey! no, no hockey simulator. Oh, no. I mean, the oh. graphics are, are good. I like the graphics. Well, you won. Game over. Hey, Zamboni! Woo! Very arcadey. Oh, it's actually clearing it. That... No, what are you doing? I was watching the Zamboni. Oh, take forever. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Gotta block my own shot. <laughs> Ooh, oh. oh! Oh, good shot, though. How... See... <laughs> Can you, you can't hold it and release it, the goalie. That's completely wrong. It's not how it works. <laughs> and this is arcadey. Yeah, it's more like a foosball. I actually don't mind this game. It's not bad. Yeah. I can't control this thing for crap, but. Ugh. Ugh. Shouldn't have moved. Can you just play Karateka again? Yeah. Oh, I have a question about the pronunciation of that K game. Now, I... Growing up, I always called it Karateka. Well, it's Karate. Karate, right? Karate, Karate. Karate, karate yeah. Yeah, finally, one. <laughs> so is it Karateka, Karateka, Karate... karate Kratika? Krateka? Krateka? Yeah, oh, what? score it on yourself. <laughs> oh, I better step up my game this time. Crunchy Clown says that's how I said it too. Kratika? Because it's not like anybody heard anybody say any of these games out loud. Like, they weren't on TV. There's no... I guess there was some video game TV shows, but not very many. All right, we'll play that's to the end of enough this. of this game. No, it's cute. I think it's go. cute. <laughs> it is cute. 18 seconds left. Sure. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're entwi intertwined. <laughs> hey, get hey. out of here. Oh, I just uh, cannot control my guy very well at all. It's actually, actually, the frames Ooh. per second is well. You slide. I just very chunky. Oh, actually. there we go. Like the movement is so. Karateka. Kara. Karateka. 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 He says Teka. Karataika. Take. Karateka. Yeah, seconds per frame. It's like five. It was really low, even lower than five. This like, version is nowhere near as smooth as its arcade counterpart. Interesting. Yeah. Um, for if, if it actually was 60 frames a second, mm -hmm. it'd be a little bit better. But, um, Car Ateka. Car Ateka. Car Ateka. Car. Yeah. Um, I give this a thumb sideways. A sideways thumb? Oh, it's got a Donkey thumb. Kong, it's Donkey Kong Jr. No. Thumbs down. No. No. Winter Games, it seemed fine. Oh, yeah. Like, for what it was. Didn't have all the events, though. So, are these all just ports of other arcade games at this point? At this point, yeah. Yeah. No no original uh, games? Are no. any of them original? Not in this list. Food Fight, no? 
Uh, Foo Fight, Fight was a port from an arcade game. But it was exclusive original. to the 7800, mm -hmm. I think. So What's your you... favorite of the of the batch? Oh, that's a good question. Of the ones we play today. Um, hmm. Food Fight was good. Dig Dug was okay. It's not a great batch. <laughs> Zevius was good. Um... Probably Xevious <sighs> for for playability. I thought Robotron was pretty decent. It was pretty decent. And Food Fight was felt original. I liked Food yeah. Fight, I think, for that. It's a simple game, but I think I kind of enjoyed how about, that. How about chat? Chat? Pick pick out chat, of the, out of the games we played today. Of the games we played today? Da Gamma Dev says Devert's Desert Falcon. It's it very is, good it graphics. It is unique, and the graphics do look good. I'm going to um, have to go it's between with Robotron Zevious. and Food Fight, I think, for me. Robotron for me. felt really good to play. It felt pretty good. It yeah. felt it felt very close to the the arcade. Yeah. Yeah, it got a lot of arcade and computer ports. That's today is all ports, mm. hundred percent ports, no original. Mm. Um, yeah, Zevius for me. Tanya, it's Robotron. Oh, uh, Gamma Dev, Desert Falcon, and Ball Blazer. Smitty Zevius is the one I play the most from that list. Yeah, Zevius is pretty high. Yep. High up there is pretty good. Zevius. Yes. Um, so, we will uh, be playing the next 20 games. I don't know when. Okay. Um, could be a couple days. Just mm -hmm. keep watching the schedule. Um, probably not before the next show. Okay. Maybe on the weekend. The weekend might be a good idea. Oh, no. No? This weekend's very full. Maybe well, Saturday. Saturday might be okay. It could still be Sunday. Sunday in the oh, afternoon. Oh, I doubt it. No, we're busy Sunday afternoon. Are we through the day? Busy-ish. No. Like maybe at night. We'll see. I, yeah. Maybe at night. See how we feel. <laughs> yeah. We're running. We're running. Yeah. We're running a 5K yeah, this Sunday. Yeah, it's not going to go well, but that's okay. I got 32 minutes. When you were... when Wasn't you were great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday. Yeah. 32 when you minutes. Were, when you were um, training. But we've been away and the weather's been hot. When that before bad, we went away, yeah. so it, I wasn't getting good. The times. excuses are all coming out now. But the way we do it across <laughs> the, real the summer is we do three of them over the summer. Yes. So this is the first one to figure out the baseline and then how how Luckily, things improve. From yeah. There. yeah. Luckily, it's an early morning, so hopefully the it's not too hot out. It, it'll be good. I don't think yeah. it'll be too bad. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it'll be rainy because the weather hasn't been great the last few days. Rainy's good and bad. It's not the I can't worst. see a thing, but it, if it keeps me today cool. Today was pouring rain as oh, long as it's not terrible. pouring that's okay so, uh anyway. it's 18 tomorrow partly sunny yeah so, uh, mm, getting better then but a wind warning apparently my computer says it's going to be super windy tomorrow okay well there you go i can warn in the wind <laughs> okay mm -hmm. food fight for carl g zevius for cyrano nice. vitoko and and smitty b 31 oh my god oh let's stop that I declare outside season over. Chitla, <laughs> you must be somewhere pretty warm. Yeah, 31. Yeah, 31 is getting up there. Humidity. Yeah. Whoa, that is hot and humid. Remember Michael Scott's advice? Carbo load right before and or during the race with, <laughs> with a, a nice, nice fettuccine, fettuccine Alfredo. Alfredo. That'll, that'll win the race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dallas. Dallas would be, yeah. Already, that, I bet that's bloody hot through wow, the summer. it's already so. that hot in Dallas. Yeah. In, in May. May. May, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, so we'll see what's in the next batch of games, and uh, hopefully there's some better ones. I've mm. uh, had a couple years now to actually make some games up, because mm. now we're into 88. So we'll be playing 88 and 89 next episode. So nice. thanks for hanging out yeah, with us. Yeah, it was great today. Um, Lots of good games. Yeah, decent. <laughs> decent. Well, yeah. Decent ones in the in the after dark. Great games yep. by Andrew Davy at the beginning of the show. Oh, that's the a different episode. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, yeah, good games. Good so games. thanks for hanging out. Rendered Ghost, Double Down, Chitlet La. Yeah, I'm getting uh, tired Carl too. Carl G. Oh, I'm so tired too. <laughs> yeah. Cyrano, Smitty B, uh, Gamma Dev, Crunchy the Clown, BR Pocock. Uh, anybody else? Any unique yeah, other names? Polygox. Polygox, Anthony Nilms. Oh, that's a new name, up, Anthony up, uh, No, they've been there before, oh. updating the score. Um, Cobelli. Cobelli hey. from Chile. Cobelli. 
Or, yeah, from Chile, I think. Uh, Cyrano, yeah, I think. Yep. Lots of people in the chat. Lots we had a lot of people join us for the first yeah. part. And uh, a lot of people said, right, thank you so much. So we'll be back on uh, Friday with, nice. I believe, Darcy. Okay. And I think we're playing Atari 8-bit games. Nice. Some new, nice. really good Atari 8-bit games. That's exciting. Yeah, so it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so have a great week, everyone. And uh, we'll see you on Friday yes. afternoon. Enjoy Bye. your week. Oops, too early. Bye-bye. <laughs>